Hi everybody, Edie Falco here. Uh, my good friends and National Mill Dog Rescue in Colorado have set a lofty goal for themselves this year. I would like to share it with you. A little bit of history. Teresa Strader, who is the organization's founder, she chose to take a neutral approach to rescuing commercial breeding dogs. They have often been referred to as puppy mill dogs. So through their organic boots on the ground efforts, NMDR has rescued over 18,000 breeding dogs over the past 16 years. And now they are ready to double their impact. Right now their rescue teams are on the road every two to three weeks. They're bringing about 100 dogs a month back to their state-of-the-art shelter in Colorado. Bringing that number of dogs in each month keeps the entire facility hopping. 34 employees bustling and dozens of volunteers busy every day. Any number beyond that, they've got to reach out to rescue partners to save the additional dogs. The number of dogs being released is growing exponentially. Thankfully, so is the number of rescue partners. To meet the growing need, last year, NMDR purchased a property in the Midwest, central to the states that they work in most often. The property was a family-owned horse facility, and it's currently being transformed into a dog shelter holding facility. Teresa and her team have set the goal to be rescuing twice the number of dogs by the end of the year. I think together we can help them do that. NMDR's Double the Paw Prints capital campaign has a fundraising goal of $250,000 to complete the entire project. The renovation is already underway, but there are several wonderful opportunities to help make the facility a working reality as quickly as possible. Please refer to the Double the Paw Prints link or visit their website, nmdr.org. That's nmdr.org to get details on how you can become a part of this hugely important life-saving mission.